In this isonine training video, we will demonstrate the proper preparation and spray technique to maximize yield with isonine light density foams. Once received, all material drums should be stored between 60 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit to allow for quicker warm up of materials and to keep the resin from degrading prematurely. The first step is to ensure that your resin is thoroughly mixed before each use. Keep the mixer running during recirculation and spraying. Prior to spraying, the material in the drums should be preheated to their recommended drum processing temperatures of 80 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit for Classic and Classic Max, 70 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit for Classic Plus. Do not set the A and B primary heaters higher than 100 degrees Fahrenheit while recirculating. Once the material is mixed and warmed in the drums, set the equipment to the recommended spray parameters. Start spraying from the bottom of the cavity, making sure to keep the gun at 90 degrees and wet the studs as you move up the cavity. In order to maximize yield, it is recommended to spray isonine light density foams to desired thickness in one pass. To calculate your yield, measure the length and height of the sprayed wall section. Ideally, Take three depth measurements from each sprayed cavity in the measured section to calculate your average depth before trimming. Using the Isonine Yield Calculator, enter the equipment information and measurements in the required fields to determine your yield.